Android 15 betas are here. While it's not a massive update, there are some interesting changes and features that Google has introduced to further enhance the user experience. In this video, I will be showcasing the top 10 exciting new features you can find in Android 15. Now, this new update brings improvements to the built-in screen recorder by allowing you to record only a specific application instead of the entire screen. When you start a single app recording, a menu pops up where you can choose the application you want to capture. The volume sliders have been redesigned. When you press on the physical volume button, you will see a larger pill-shaped slider. The tapping the three-dot button shows a new volume sliders and a media output shortcut. These new sliders allow you to change volume for media, notifications, calls, and alarm. The animations are very smooth as you interact with the sliders. Now additionally, you can mute the sound by tapping the left side of any slider or raise the max volume by tapping the right side. Now this expanded volume panel also collapses conveniently when you press the button next to the media stream. Now, app archiving is a valuable feature that helps users free up storage space. It allows you to partially remove infrequently used applications from the device while preserving the user data. So when you reinstall the application later, you can pick up right where you left off. Now, this is kind of similar to Apple's offload apps function. To archive any application downloaded from the Play Store or installed as Android App Bundle, simply go to the App Information page and select Archive. The app icon will appear grayed out, but you can easily restore everything by tapping the download button to reinstate it. With Android 14, Google introduced the ability to use a Pixel smartphone as a webcam. In Android 15, this feature receives a significant update with the introduction of high-quality webcam. This mode results in noticeably improved video quality, but at the cost of increased battery drain if used for extended periods. This update also brings a private space for securing your important applications. This is essentially an isolated environment or container where you can lock away your most sensitive applications and their data. You can configure this feature through settings using a passcode or fingerprint. The private space is accessible from the app drawer. The default applications available in private space include a separate instance of the Play Store where you can sign in with a different Google account. This allows you to install any applications you want, including separate instances of Google Photos or Chrome that you would not want anyone else to see. Since Apple announced satellite connectivity for iPhones, Android users have been eagerly waiting for a similar feature. Google has finally listened and Android 15 is confirmed to bring this functionality. With satellite connectivity, you will be able to send text to your friends even in areas with no cell service. Android 15 also allows SMS applications and preloaded RCS applications to use satellite connectivity for sending and receiving messages. This means it will not be limited to emergency uses only. Now, similar to iPhones, Android 15 is expected to receive a battery health feature. This feature was initially spotted in Android 14, but it wasn't fully functional and therefore not available on Pixel devices. It seems like Android 15 will finally make the battery health information accessible to the end user. 
The battery health feature will display the cycle count and battery capacity as a percentage giving you an idea of how much your battery has degraded. And as of now, this feature is not available in developer beta 2, but it could be added later. The gesture navigation also gains a new feature called predictive back, which provides a smoother and more intuitive navigation experience. When you use a back gesture, a smooth animation reveals a background preview of the screen you are going back to. Now, this new update also brings improved multitasking for large screen devices. Users can pin the taskbar on screen for quick app switching or save their split screen app combinations for easy access. This means the importance of ensuring your apps are adaptable to various screen sizes. Google AI is revolutionizing Android devices, enabling new ways to interact and get things done. Circle Search even gets smarter, helping to solve physics and math problems directly from their phones and tablets. The Gemini on Android 15 improves context understanding, allowing users to drag and drop generated images and ask questions about videos and PDFs. And that's it. These are some of the exciting features of Android 15. So check the link in the description for more information about the upcoming change log of Android 15. So what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Rio. I will see you in the next one.